Good afternoon, gang, and welcome to 2020. Our first uh, micro lesson this year is going to cover a question that came from a viewer. Uh, the viewer had a question about a section on her instrument that she didn't necessarily know how to use, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to give her the opportunity, as well as you, if you're not necessarily sure how to use this feature, to uh, think about some songs that you can use it with and really try to use your instrument to a bit more of a fuller extent that you may already do. Okay, we're going to be working on the CVP 709 today because that's uh, the instrument that the viewer has, but I will be covering as well where to find these features on the Lowry. Let's go take a look at the CVP 09 and let's talk about some synthesized sounds today. All right, gang. So today our question comes via a viewer and her question was in regards to a button that's on her CVP 709, which is a Yamaha Clavinova. It's a reason that I'm sitting in front of this instrument today, but uh, virtually everything that I do can be transitioned over using some different words on the Lowry. So I'll, I'll give you a uh, an idea of how you might do this on the Lowry as I'm explaining uh, how to do it on the Clavinova here. But essentially her question was in regards to a button over on the right hand side of her instrument called synth, spelled S-Y-N-T-H. Now this is in the same section where you see piano and organs and guitars and strings and vocals and brass, woodwind sounds. You know, on the right hand side where, where on the Lowry you'd also find instruments. Well, she has a button over there that says synth. And once you go into that button, you start to see what look like keyboards in the screen. And these are all different synthesizers. And synthesizers are different uh, in, in the way that they sound as compared to other instruments because they're not an actual quote unquote instrument. And what I, what I mean by that is the sound is computer generated. Okay, unlike piano or organ or strings or, or uh, clarinet or uh, you know, uh, uh, an acoustic guitar or the oboe, those sounds likely were recorded, you know, if it's a, a small enough instrument, maybe it was brought into a soundproof booth and, and the, the notes were sampled, and that's what you get when you uh, hear the keys here. Perfect example of that is when you go into your pianos and you see things like the CFX Grand or the Busendorfer piano there. Well, those are actual pianos, okay, $100,000 pianos that... Um, they sampled to get the sounds that, um, that we use. But the synthesizer is a little bit different in that they're computer generated. So it's not like a synthesizer was necessarily brought into a soundproof booth. I mean, maybe, but it was done via a computer program, so much easily uh, transferable. So anyhow, all of these, they have really kind of weird names here. I have one that says 1984 synth. I have one that says... Uh, analog brass, uh, techno brass. If I go into synth percussion, I have one called Heaven Pad and, and Organ Bells and uh, the synth pad here, Whisper Gallery, uh, Hybrid Pad, Deep Motion. Now, what do all of these things mean? Well, they're names basically to let you remember what they sound like, but they don't actually have names that many times you can equate to a certain thing per se. Um, now, when would you use these sounds? Well, you would use these sounds in songs that were done in the era where synthesizers really became popular, which would have been the 1980s into the 1990s. Uh, that's where computers really started to, to take hold, and, and music just follows the direction there of technology. It always has, and this is another great example of music doing that. And uh, music follows suit with whatever's happening technologically. And so all of these synthesizers were coming out. You had your Moog over here, which um, if you're familiar with this uh, picture here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me choose one that uh, we can pick up here. So if you look in, oh, I can see it here. Why is it not coming up here? Go to our Moog. Anyhow, well, you're going to have to take my word for that one. I can see it in a small picture over here, but I'm not getting it in the big screen. But anyhow. When you're playing songs from that era, these sounds are perfect because they were used in those recordings. Now, where would you find these on Lowry's? Well, on the Lowry's, you would find them under your Genius button or under your More button, and it'd be under the title Extra. Now, it's not E-X-T-R-A, it's X-T-R-A. 
okay? Everything, remember, is alphabetized. So if you go to the extra section, you're going to see a certain number of quote-unquote extra sounds, which are essentially all of your synthesized sounds, okay? So I, I've loaded up here a sound to use, which is very commonly uh, used when you're playing this particular song. So I'm going to play a little bit of the beginning of Van Halen's Jump, done in the, uh, the early 1980s, probably around 1984, 1985 or so. And uh, it is a sound that is perfect for that song because it's, it's probably what you remember if you remember the song. Now, you may not know it by name, but it has a very popular hook right at the beginning. And uh, you may very well know it by the way it sounds. So I'm going to do it at least to the best of my abilities. I'm going to apologize to Van Halen in the, uh, <laughs> in the process here. But uh, let me play this for you and maybe you'll recognize it. So uh, the beginning of Jump by Van Halen sounds like this. Okay, maybe you recognize that, maybe you don't, but that is a great song to use if you like some of those 1980s, 1990s songs to use with some of those synthesizers. A lot of people say, I've had them for years and I never know how to use them or when to use them. Well, our, our clientele's, you know, our clientele's not getting younger, I guess, per se. That always stays about stagnant, but the type of music that our clientele uh, is looking to play changes with the generation. So when I first started doing this, about 20 years ago, I was doing a lot of Benny Goodman stuff and Louis Armstrong stuff, and, and I still do a lot of that Irving Berlin stuff, and we moved into Sinatra and Dean Martin, and now we have a lot of students coming in saying, I want to play James Taylor, I want to play Billy Joel, I want to play Van Halen, or someone like Phil Collins, who also, Phil Collins and Genesis also utilize synthesizers a lot. And uh, we're going to go ahead and play a little Phil Collins in the air tonight via my song setup here on the Yamaha Clavinova called the Music Finder. And I'm going to just play through the song. I'll give you a little demonstration of almost the whole song. And I'm just going to jump back and forth between different, uh, different synthesized sounds here. So we're using a beat called uh, 80s Analog Band. I'm at 96 beats per minute. One of the great things about a song like this is only four chords in it. It goes from a D minor to a C to a B flat and then a C. And so three of those four chords uh, with an easy button or your accompaniment on, you can play with just one finger. Okay, so I have an introduction play, uh, pressed here. And as I'm playing it, I'm just going to go back and forth between some sounds here. I have one called Dancy Hook and B Vibrato. Number two is just a regular piano, so I will put that in there just as a, a bit of a palate cleanser, if you will. Uh, then we have HPF dance uh, with a, a layered vocal underneath, and then finally a uh, synthesizer called a Solaris with a guitar called Rock Hero on top of that. So that's what we'll, uh, we'll end with here. I'm changing these via the variations. So the variations are hooked into the One Touch setting link over on the right-hand side. And uh, here is In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins utilizing some of these synthesized sounds.
Well, I hope you enjoyed our micro lesson today. I have a soft spot in my heart for 80s music because that's when I really came into my own starting to play and listen to music. I know that there are a lot of people that roll their eyes when they hear about 80s music, but maybe again, I might be showing my age, but it's something that's near and dear to my heart. So to be able to play things like Phil Collins and Van Halen and even some of the more sedate songs, some uh, James Taylor, some Billy Joel, Elton John, those are the songs that I grew up with. So to have students asking to play those songs, uh, it's, it's really a, a nice experience for me. It takes me back, just as uh, it may take some of uh, you back to songs that, that you might have grown up with if you grew up in a different era. Anyhow, uh, I really hope that you enjoyed uh, the demonstration today uh, in regards to the extra sounds that you have on the Lowry's under either your Genius or your More button. And then on the Clavinovas, uh, these are all under Synth, which stands for Synthesizer. Uh, um, quick thing of note, we are going to be filming our Buttons class tomorrow morning. So if you're looking at this, uh, I'm filming this on Friday tomorrow Saturday which is uh, the 4th of January at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time if you go to our Facebook page so if you type in keys to fun music and lesson center in the search bar of Facebook we should come up and uh, if you log into the page or if you can click onto the page rather at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning for an hour we'll be doing a live studio uh, class talking about buttons and features and uh, we will have uh, students here asking questions but you all have the opportunity to ask questions as well and uh, the way that you would do that is if you go to our website first so if you go to keys to fun music.com and either through the website or you can send us an email our email address is info at keys to fun music.com you can ask a question on the site. So you can go right to the site. Now, I, I'd suggest doing this tonight because I won't be checking this live tomorrow. But at some point between now and, and let's say about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, if you do send a question into the site, either via the chat box or by sending us an email, I will do my best to try to answer all of the questions that come in in the hour that we have. We are an authorized Yamaha, Clavinova, and Lowry dealer. And uh, we are able and willing and happy to answer any questions that you have on the instruments, on music in general. Uh, as I say every week, I know your time is valuable. I appreciate you wanting to spend a little bit of it with us. And uh, we have some great stuff coming up this year. Uh, some new instruments to introduce to you. I won't let the cat out of the bag yet, but we've got some exciting stuff coming. So uh, I look forward to sharing it with you. I thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. I'll give you our phone number. It's 401-277-9800. Our address is 1665 Hartford Avenue in Johnston, Rhode Island. You can always come visit us here. Or you can go to our website, our Facebook page, and you can view us on YouTube. Thank you very much for your time. We'll see you next week.